Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building. Harlem is in the building. For sure. Artu Armo is in the building. For sure, yeah. I just want to say, like, I said the Bronx and the freestyle. I don't know if I edited it out by this point, but I'm going to just say it in the interview because whatever. Um, I thought you was from the Bronx this whole time, my bad, bro. Shout out the Bronx, though. Shout out uh, the Bronx. But we from Harlem. We from Harlem with it. Because you want, because you know, like when 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 Dre brings me an artist, shout out Dre. Dre's in the building. You know what I'm saying? They know me from the Bronx. Yeah. Or they from Yonkers. Usually. Banks management. Yeah, usually. You know what I'm saying? Everybody from there, from the Bronx. Yeah, everybody, basically. everybody under under. Shout Banks. out Sleaze, though. Yep. Shout out, shout out the Bronx. But that's why I was like, I thought you was from the Bronx. So my bad. They don't show Harlem no love, but we here. I show Harlem love. For Come sure, on, no. bro. You, I show Harlem you love. You different. You different. You different. But most of the people, they don't be trying to show us no love. They be backdooring us. But it's alright. Why here. do you feel like people be? Back doing Harlem. What do you mean? I just feel like I feel like we don't have a lot of all. Now we don't have a lot of artists, but our artists not getting as much recognition as you know what I'm saying, like Bronxwood, Brooklynwood, and that's because they in their own lane of they. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What they do, and Harlem trying to fit in for real. But I feel like for me, you look through those gyms, you look through those back doors. There's a lot of really good artists in yeah. Harlem that just don't get a lot of like recognition or or say so for sure. Hmm. That's an interesting say. way to look at it. Because I personally feel like Harlem got a lot of diversity. You know what I'm saying? I look at you, and then I look at, obviously, a bunch of the drill rappers who are out there. You always, you know, obviously, the drill rappers. You got, like, you know, the Neek Bucks of the world, my hot Haas Earth, Fergie Baby. Like, there's a lot of different type of people out in Harlem who I feel like really be doing it, too. But these, but, but I also feel like every artist you name is not super, super mainstream. True. You're talking, you, so you speaking in the terms of, like, a mainstream perspective. Mm, like, okay. get in there. Like, get into, get into the top. Like, being from Harlem. I don't feel like we got too many. We not getting too much as far as that. But we got a lot of artists in Harlem. Shout out Neek, like you said. Yeah. You know what I mean? I but, feel like it's only a matter of time, though. Right. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? What, what part of Harlem are you from? I'm from the East. I'm from East Harlem, but I moved to West Harlem for high school. So okay. I'm... I'm Back and forth between both. I got so, a lot of love in both. I was about to, so, yeah. He's trying to tell you that he's neutral. He's I'm neutral. He just, just neutral. be. I just be. Yeah. Chill, I just be chilling. I just be chilling. There's a lot of love everywhere. And this is your first interview, right? For sure. This is my first. Well, no, no. I did. Um, I just did live action. Chat live action. Live action. I just did live action like a week and a half ago. Okay. But I didn't drop yet, so this is my second interview. Your second was, interview. Yeah. yeah. Got you. So I want to like get. You, so you're. So you originally from East Harlem, moved to West Harlem. Right. When did the music start for you? I want to say my sophomore year, sophomore year in high school. Okay. Sophomore year in high school, I was a um, a hundred percent football player, dedicated. Fantastic. <laughs> I went to school, I went to Division two school uh -huh. for football, everything, and then um, I basically decided like I I really like music a little bit more than going to practice and doing all the extra stuff. So I left. Well, technically my my transcript was like invalidated, so I had to leave. And I had the choice to go back, but I was like, you know what? Music is my passion. Like, that's what I'm gonna do. Forget football. What did you put? What was your position? I played like defensive end, D tackle. Okay, okay. I was smoking it. It's none of that. Everybody <laughs> was getting hit. It's none of that. When when you had to when you had to quit the team, the other everybody else was everybody else was like, oh, thank God. I won't say necessarily not your teammates, but like the people who was playing y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They knew what's up. Yeah. They knew what's up. But a lot of my teammates was haters. We're not gonna talk about them, but. A lot of my teammates was haters. A lot of the people we played against was haters, and now we here. And you were still smoking them in still practice? Still smoking and them. They knew it was them. I ain't even got to They lucky that you stopped playing they football. They lucky I'm not there right now. They still text me to this day. <laughs> they know what's up with me. They like, yo, you singing now for real, for real? Now. They like my music, too. They do? All okay. my old teammates like my music, for okay. sure. For sure. So you started doing music uh, when you couldn't, well, well, when you realized that you was kind of like, oh, I like this more than doing football. Right. Absolutely. Who were your early inspirations? Um... Juice, I got a 999 tap. Get the fuck out. For real? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a broken heart because he died. I got it right after his birthday. No way. That's so, fire, bro. I got a Juice tat. That was my right. early influence, and now it's a little more into like Don Tolliver, kind of Gunner. That's my vibe right okay. there. Okay. And swaggy. So. I don't think there's a lot of New York artists who would say Don Tolliver, Gunner, nah, and, for and real. Juice. I, I like that, though. Yeah. I like that, though. That's my little group. That's my little group. And And believe it or not, like, no lie, humblest way possible. A lot of times when I post certain types of music, like if it's not drill or something that's not really New York, a lot of people would be like, yo, you sound like Don. Oh, just give me like a Don Tyler vibe. Or like right. I told like I, what I say, Vori, right? Yeah, Vori. I said I gave you a Vori vibe. Mm -hmm. One sec. We good. It's just, you know. Anyway. Um, 
But yeah, I was like, I, it gave me a Vory vibe. I think like even though just like kind of the way that you were doing like some like some of the hums and shit like that. Like I was like, oh, this kind of sounds like Vory, which is why I was telling you. I was like, oh yeah, I want to hear some more of your slower records. Nah, for sure. And shout out Vory, dumb nice. I listen to Vory on the low. Shout out on the shout low. Out Vory. <laughs> why on the low? Because I'm I, I'm from New York, so I gotta blast my New York dudes first. Okay, right. okay, of course, respectfully, Gotta respectfully. Go New York first. So you got this juice tat like the year. Well, I mean, he died in December, right? Right. So you got it the year like pretty much a year after, Same, right? Right after. Right after. That summer. That's when was when's his birthday? So, um, December, December eighteenth, seventeenth, okay. somewhere around there. It's right before mine. Okay. My birthday December nineteenth. Got you. So juice was like kind of like for you to get him tatted on you. That juice was like. Nah, it was a lot of. It was a. I'm trying to think. Um. Death Race for Love, the album that I dropped. Yeah. I was going through a little bit. It's an intro song on there called um named Empty. Yep. And that song, feel me, it got me through a lot, a lot of stuff. And then from there, that point on, I was like, all right, let me tune in. Let me see what else is in there. I'm not gonna lie and act like I've been a fan of Juice World for five, six years, seven years. I know every unreleased song, nah. But when that album dropped and I heard the intro song, it got me through a lot of hard times for me. And from that point on, I'm like, all right, let me tune in. I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. And I'm hearing what he go through and just the way he express it in his music. And I'm like, I could try to do the same thing. But the, but this is what I relate to. This is what I want to go through with. Right. Making music that relate to people. Mm. No, I like that. Death Race for Love is a great album, yeah. too. Yeah. I think that's cool. I mean, you don't have to be a fan of Juice for six, seven years for... To get him tatted, you know what I'm saying? For like sure. for some, you could you could just love that one song, and that song have been like I don't know, that song have been so impactful for you at a moment in your life that like that's why you got the six six or nine nine nine. Sorry, Absolutely. the nine 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 tatted yeah. because um because it's just like oh shit, like this empty got me through whatever the situation was, and you're like you know I might not be a big Juice fan like that, but this song got me through it, and I love this song and. We get the nine 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 tatted because it, it made and like that also is just like a way for you to remember like that time mm, in your exactly life too. What it, that's exactly what it was too. Hit it right on the head. That's exactly what it was. The song got me through a hard time. I went and got it tatted. I'm like, I got to. Did you ever I listen to, to like the posthumous music that they put out for him? I don't really like it. I I don't really like it just based off the fact that like I know the controversy surrounding it. Yeah. And then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's like everybody milking it. Like, just trying to get money off of it. I don't really like that. Yeah, I haven't so, really listened to it either. The music is not really, like, what it's supposed to be. But, you know what I'm saying? At least we still get something. Right. I be list I tried listening. He got, what, two posthumous albums out, yeah. right? I feel like the first one was pretty good, right? The first one I felt like, because, you know, it's, it's kind of like pop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The first album was, like, mostly him. But then, like, the rest is, you know, the Fletch. other people behind the scenes. And I feel like that album was... Probably a good part of it was him, but then the rest of it was the other people behind the scenes. And then, like, this last, I think it was, he put out two albums. Yeah, the, then the second one, I don't think I really liked that much. And they say more music's supposed to be coming out, too. That's what's, like, making my head a little fuzzy, like. I feel like the only, per like, if Bibby wasn't the one talking about it, I would be, like, a little skeptical. But right. Bibby be the one talking about it. So I I don't know how I don't know how involved Bibby was in the past projects. I'm not gonna pretend like I know, but like if I see Bibby's name like attached to it, I'm like, I. Right. So it's like Chicago. It, it's be he, he was yeah. there from the, obviously obviously we all know Bibby and Juice's relationship. So it's like I right, bet like it's this 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 might be actually what we want to hear, not just like like yes. you know the label just put it out just to put it out so and get some bread off Juice shit like that. Mm -hmm. Thousand percent. I'm I'm hoping this next one is something we could really sit down and listen to. Yeah, facts. Recipes Juice, man. Yeah, for sure. I love a. Uh, no, guys, what you gonna say? Nah, RP Juice, that's it for sure. I saw, um, obviously, I seen like you, your work with TJ Porter too. Um, how did, obviously, that's a Harlem thing, of course, but how did y'all two meet? So, um, I'm actually born and raised in Wagner. So okay. I'm from Wagner Project. I grew up in East, East Harlem, 122nd Street. So, me and TJ been around each other since we was little. Like, we went to high school together. Oh, wow. Okay. We, he graduated before me because he was, um, older than me. And then we met back up with music. So it was just like one day we was in the studio. I was with a couple friends. And he he had a, a session right next door, but it was over capacity. So he was like, yo, let me slip a couple people in your room. So I'm like, I bet. I grew up over there anyway. I know these people. Slipped like two people in my room. He came to the room and was like, yo, you got beats? I'm like, yo, I was just working on something. Boom. Played that. And he hopped on it. And then Dre, my manager, we we went. We was like, we got to set this up now. We got to shoot the video. First real actual feature that we could get something with. Let's 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 shoot it. Like, let's get it through. That's fire. And then we from over there, basically. So it's like, it wasn't hard to set it up. We just pulled up on them outside. 
and was like, yo, let's let's shoot the video. Now, for you, are you already kind of like thinking past like the New York sound? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like your sound is like, yeah, it's like catered to New York, but I feel like you're pro- like the way you, t- it's even just telling me who you fuck with is like, it's a little you got to look a little, yeah. you got to look kind of past New York at this point, now, too, also. I, I really like, I'm not going to lie. The way New York shifted into the drill scene, I really liked it. So I was trying to find my place in it. Found my little place, little cash beats, doing a little melodic drill stuff. But sexy I, drill, as cash yeah, will call it. Me, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Sexy drill. So feel me. And shout out my producer Eddie Eddie Rivers. Mm. He got me. He really got me on this cash go bean sound because before this I was doing like Don Tolliver beats or Juice World beats, and now it's a whole different wave. Like I feel like I'm still New York. But I'm bringing it my own way. Yeah. And, and as far as just looking past New York, like I, I don't know. Like I don't want to really be signed to a major. Like if I do sign somewhere, I want to be like Cactus Jack. Like that's my vibe. Like I'm trying to get somewhere over. You know, there. Cactus Jack is still under a major, right? <laughs> right. But but <laughs> feel me, feel me. You get what I'm trying to say. Let me say, educate like, you real right, quick, my nah, brother. You, you it's like right. epic, <laughs> and then it's Cactus Jack. But then also Ti has like a uh, what what what's Ti shit called? Um. Huh? It's hustle. It's hu- rich hustle something. Ti has a label and like Travis is signed under Ti's label. So I'm not. I'm, I can't tell you how that breaks down, but I do know that Cactus Jack is technically like I believe under Epic. Yeah, I want Travis Scott to come to me personally. Like, yo, <laughs> let's set this up. You know, Travis loves New York too. Nah, look, we here, we here, and we from Harlem. You got Shaq West on the label. Harlem stand up. We here. Let's get it. He said you already have one Harlem artist. You already artist. got one Harlem artist. You might as well come get another one. We here. And I think, you know, I think like it's important, especially for an artist, you know, obviously the drill sound is what it is and that's a whole other conversation, but like someone who makes like your type of music, it's like, I see how much further it can go beyond the drill thing. And like, I tell Cash and like Chow Lee this all the time. I'm like, the sound that you guys have, like that's going to evolve and change into something else. Mm-hmm. It's not just like a drill sound. Like even if you look at kind of like the club beats. You know what I'm saying? Drill evolved into like club. Well, I mean, club beats always been around, right? Because of Jersey Club. But like the sound evolved into then like doing like the club beats drill, and shit like right. that too. Absolutely. And then like I feel like for you, it's like you you're doing like these drill samples. Well, not even drill samples. Kinda, kinda, sorta. And then that's just gonna evolve into something else. Even like the slow music that you've been telling me about. Yeah, were is evolving to a different sound. That's where that's where I'm, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be prepared for when everything starts to die out. Let's put it like that. As a, as a more melodic artist, do you feel like it it's gonna like die out like that? I feel like it'll be around for a couple more years. I feel like it'll be around for a couple more years too, but it'll change. The sound will change. It'll again. change. It'll yeah. evolve eventually, and it'll turn into something else. That's what I want to be prepared for. Let's say let's say that. Yeah, like be prepared for the future. Yeah, exactly. But then also, if you're preparing for that sound to change too, but your sound is completely different from that sound. Right. So I got a head start. Mm-hmm. I like I like him. I like his, I like Andre. I like him. Cause it's like, I don't know. I feel like like what with that also too is like the music you make is different. Like, you know, people could argue that the drill song the drill sound is like watered down because of X amount of artists and there being too many artists. To some extent they're right. But at the same time, it's like you kind of looked at it and you were like, Oh, um, I'm gonna not do that. Yeah, I'm you gonna try something different. And, and even like I'm not gonna lie, bro. I like rage beats. Like Weird shit, like just I just. You should be st- doing those things, bro. No, you should I be putting a, them shits out. I got a bunch of rage songs. I got a bunch of just R and B, just trying shit, like just in the studio, bored. Fucking, let me try it. You gotta start so, running around with like the underground kids in New York City, you know, in the tri-state. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the like. You ever heard of Midwest? I I know about Midwest. Um, he he he's locked in with um. Off rec- off record. Yeah, shout I'm, out Midwest. Freestyle yeah, out now. Facts. facts. <laughs> I'm I'm super locked in with Eli. So, with Eli, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 Eli sent me a beat to do for Onorito, but he sent it too late. Ah, oh, damn. So no. yeah, we we fucked up. But I feel like I feel like in that case, right? I like how this has turned into like an, me me giving you some advice. I feel like you should really connect with like the like uh like the Tanners, the the Midwest, like and because like I feel like you you're already connected to the drill scene, which is great. That's fine. But I feel like the type of music you're trying to make. You gotta like start connecting with like the kid, like the, the internet kids, because the internet kids they the ones running that type of sound right mm-hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? In the sense of like um, rage, I would rage beats, but also like Juice World extension type beats and yeah, shit like that. Like I feel like that's the lane you hyper pop. Yep, yeah. I feel like if that's that's a, the, the I feel like that's where your sound and that where, is where that's gonna go. You gotta connect with those guys. That's a fact. 
You gotta connect with those guys. Let's lock it in. We here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on. For sure, I appreciate my you. man. Shout out Let's my man. It. I'm gonna put you on with Wolfface Joy from Staten Island. Let's He's get, I, my brother. And I heard about bro. He he did the um. Shake it, shake it, shake it, uh, yeah, shake it. Yeah, yeah. that's hard. He I'm nice. Mm-hmm. So you are so you kind of already know about like these type of other things. Yeah, going, like, yeah. With I'm in tune. Okay. I listen to. I try to branch out and listen to all different types of music purposely because I want people to reach out to me. Right. So I go check out everything, not just not just one little scene in New York. You smart for sure. No. You smart. I gotta f- reach out to everybody. What are you working on now? So we got a couple singles in the tuck. Um, um, I wanna um, I got a video shoot scheduled Monday, but I got two songs tucked right now. I actually got this song. I'm about to drop named Judy. Judy, okay. I did it for the freestyle, but it's a different beat. Okay. It's gonna be crazy. Um Yeah. And I'm gradually, just day by day, I'm taking it like that. I, I got a lot of crazy visuals tucked already. Got a lot of visuals planned. So I, I had a tape out that ultimately it got taken down, you know, on some BS. But I'm hoping to get that back out soon too. What was so, the tape called? Um Road to Riches Volume One. Which is art with the R two R. Absolutely, yes. Road to Rich's volume. Uh-huh. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go see. Cause it got fully taken down. Fully taken Completely. down. Completely. It was a season. This is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My boy said season. This is real. Yeah, cause, violated me. Cause you only technically have like this one single, which I really love the one single too that you have out front now. I told you this. I was yeah, like, I love this facts, record. Facts, 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 facts. I've been bumming that shit in the whip all week. Mm, that's my shit too. I'm, I jacked that song. We, we still didn't shoot the video yet. Really. No, that video I shot on my gram is like a little snippet. I thought that was like the vid for the vid. I think I want to make that video a visualizer, though. You should. Yeah, I think that'll be fire. Because yeah. we got the whole thing shot. It's just not different scenes. Don't shoot your videos like drill videos. Shoot, shoot it differently. Nah, yeah. Hell no. Hell no. Hell Do some no. different shit. Run and gun is over. I'm not doing that no more. I'm trying to find like... I think I, w- I want to shoot my next video on like a warehouse. Like an empty warehouse. Yeah. Dark lights. Some, some weird shit. But it's going to be fire. I already know. Iron, I, I know the aesthetic yeah, you're going for. Yeah. So we got some singles on the way. Um, singles hopefully get the project back up on the, the on there. The freestyle's coming. Um, what else you do you have going on that we got to let the people know about before we get out of here? I'm not going to lie, y'all. It's about to get real lit. We're we going we gonna to drop some crazy songs. I actually got a song produced by Cash that's tucked. Um, the way that came about is, is mad crazy. Oh, Tell yeah. me. I got a song. So basically, it's an influencer. I don't know if you heard of the Ty Lil show. Ty Lil, so boom. He was going viral um, a couple months back for going live with like strippers and doing all this weird stuff on Instagram, getting blocked. So basically, he became cool with Cash. Yep. He asked Cash for some beats. Cash was thinking he was rapping. So Cash sent him the beats. He was like, yo. We was in the crib all together. He like, yo, you got to just get on this, and I'm going to send it to him. Just let him hear it. He's like, I bet. We got on it in the studio, sent it back. He played it for Cash, and Cash like, nah, this is hard. Like, what's, what's who this? All to all, more. All right, boom. We went and shot the video, and now just we, we, we hoping to get that out soon. ASAP. Coming soon. That's going to be crazy. crazy. Story. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Have you gone to meet Cash personally yet? Nah, not personally. Soon, though. Soon, soon. After we drop this video, then yeah, then he'll know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. There we go. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing everything you got coming up. Um, you got a good head on your shoulders, so no, just keep making the music. Yeah, Stay on the right path. Don't do sure. no dumb shit out here. For sure. Nah, I'm good. Well, before we sign off, let the people know they can follow you out. Anything else you want to let them know? Now's the time to do it. This camera right here. Yo, it's all to all right. Follow me, Instagram. Search me up on YouTube. I got videos out now. Search me up all to all Got a lot of new music coming. We about to go crazy. And tune into the freestyle. We're about to get lit. There you go. Show. R2R Mo. Go check out everything he has out now. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love and support is free. Go run up that freestyle. Till next time, it's on the radar, baby. I got love. For sure. Boom. <laughs>